we now know that these ancient sites have been already classified by some agency. This is a Spanish agency. Well, here we are at one so-called unknown structure at the Rashat, but we know what that is, don't we? We know that that is a castle or a military fort. I've heard that these little things are where they corral animals. It's kind of a little feature you see happening in the Mauritania West Sahara area, kind of unlike the French forts you see in other places. But this one was originally found by Jimmy over at Bright Insight. He was the first one I saw it through. There it is. But according to this mapping system that I found, there's another antiquity right over there to the left. Take a look at that. As you can see in this government map, the so-called castle in the center of the Rashad structure has already been found and classified as an antiquity. But what's this over to the left? There's another antiquity right next to it that nobody's talked about. I'll have to find it. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over something that I previously talked about. What you're seeing here is a cloudy day or a bad image of the Rashad structure. I can zoom out of it and we can go back in and see what we were just looking at. It takes a while and this is not Google Maps. So we can go through the calendar and see the daily photographs taken of the Rashad structure. This is taken on the 3rd of April. You might think that that can help answer some questions. It's picking up the cloud shadow, but it's putting this line right down. Okay, those are some interesting clouds. You can't get too close to some of these structures, but one thing that you can do is zoom into the henge that you can't go in far enough to even see it. Well, I was about to abandon Sentinel-Hub right away because I just want to zoom in here and see it, but look what happens when I change the date. Did you see that? Now, this is the last one available, so we're going to go back in time here. Look at that. And then we wait for the, the map to come on in. So while we're waiting for the map, we are seeing another layer underneath this system. And the best part about it is that when we zoom in, we get these treasures. Now, this is the new temple, or what's really a stone hinge. And this is the old hinge. And then we have another hinge, which I call the crescent. So those crescents are in the same direction as the flying eyes of the Sahara. This was the day that the cloud coverage was really weird. Let's zoom out and see what we can see. So it was just a cloud. It looked really interesting, those colors. But the worst part about it is we're not getting the resolution we're looking for. And when we're zoomed this far out, we don't see those treasures. So what I need to do with this software, the Sentinel-Hub, is we can zoom in on the treasures. There they are. There's no information on those treasures. They're just existing on this layer. There's no data on these so-called treasures. So one, we now know that these ancient sites have been already classified by some agency. This is a Spanish agency. So now we have to zoom around, changing the calendar a little bit until we can just see them there. That's the farthest out you can go. And then we zoom around and try to find something else. Oh, look at that. What's this? more there's two more right there okay well let's take a look at that one in the map now can i just grab this i think i can at this point these are the digital coordinates i just grab those right out of there and put them right in here i have to edit them a little bit we've got to get rid of some of this stuff here those equal signs you can turn that into a comma and then you've got the digital coordinates right there boom now, I showed some type of a treasure here. Let's go in back in here and take another look. So when we click it like this, we don't see them now, but we got to zoom in and we see them here and here. So we can see that this little, that looks like a fish. The one's there and one's right about there. So where's the fish? Oh, is that the fish? No, that is the fish. That is the fish. Where is it inside this fish? I have to change the map to see again. It's right there. Oh, it's up there. Uh-oh, that's the cloudy day. Let's move out of there. Okay, so it's uh, like the second bump right there. Let's go back in. There it is, right there. I've seen this before. But what is it? Why is it ancient? So we found all these, and it turns out they've already been recorded. Let's go to the next one. Are they there? No, too far away. There. So the other one is right next to it. Let me just try to see it, if I can find it. Oh, there. So just right there. Nothing special. So we, we got to change and we got to keep moving and try to get ourselves to find another one that's 
Too bad we can't back away a little more. I can't even see where I'm going. See, if we just keep moving, we don't have to get a new map because we can just find new data. And we can find those antiquities, those treasures. I'm not seeing anything. It's kind of hard, right? You can zoom back out a little bit, but then you're not going to see the antiquities. Oh, look at that. Well, we know what that is. We're in the center. Well, it showed two antiquities. So if this is the center, then there's one more antiquity right there that we didn't see. And it's showing it like, like the castle is one of them. What's this other thing over here right there? Let's change maps and see it there 400 meters okay let's find out about this castle here i think that was the middle castle if not maybe it's something new that we didn't know about but we did see i'm assuming that's it right there castle number one let's go back over and see so there it is what is it more clouds dome de richard so yeah there we are so that's the one in the middle so they're saying that there's the castle there's a there's something else going on over here hmm what could it be where's the antiquity exactly okay so as you can see it's like right below that right there so it's this thing this is some special ancient oh look you've got a little column here this could be poseidon's castle right there so now we know this is an ancient site and what's that okay let me share this make sure that if you're not following me already on my ancient insights page it's right here i'll share it you'll see the logo it's very simple for me to share it to the page all i gotta have to do is click this to share on a page you manage and then when i manage the first one that comes up is ancient insight with the sunset in taipei very hard to see but it's a taipei sunset done it's already uploaded. You can see these two antiquities. Lots of roads around here that I can not see before. At least you can follow the roads. So it's kind of fun to see these antiquities, these ancient sites laid out for us, even though I thought that we were mapping this stuff from Google Maps. We're not getting it. When this happens, you have to just get a new map. Boom, like this. See? And then just keep moving it. Keep moving it. And try to go areas you haven't been before, so it's grabbing the data. Follow the roads. So these are the ones right up here that now that's covered. And you can see it barely here because this is a really low resolution map. This isn't far enough out to see it. Let's see here. Nope, too far. But go in a little bit and you'll see it. So what's that? Someone's home? That's interesting. So there's lots of things have been mapped out up here certain circles and stuff wow it's loading so fast i don't have time to see it i'm still looking for that one house that i lost that's up here maybe this will help me find it see there you go this is nice it gets you right in there i don't know why it's giving me gray that other layer doesn't get through as fast as the photo sometimes so I really need someone's help to get this yellow underlying layer map. And that way I don't have to sit here and do this. If anybody knows a way to get in there and we could really get a good, this looks like it's Arabic. But this is a Spanish website as far as I know, sentinel-hub.com. And the cool thing is it shows where the cliffs are as well. It can really help me understand this whole area a lot better. Anyways, I didn't find any more antiquities at this time, so I'm done for now. I really wish I can access this layer, and the closer I am, I can see the antiquities, but when I back away, they're gone, so that makes it really difficult. See, here it is. We're getting it. When we back out, we can see the whole country. Who made this map? Open street map, Sentinel Hub. It covers up. Open street map. I need the underlying layer. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.